Good morning, everybody. I got a TL071 op amp right here on the breadboard. And we're going to see if we can test it for shorts. Let's get in the picture here. Turn that light on. We'll go to diode mode. Now I'm going to put my red lead on VEE. That's normally the negative voltage supply pin for this op amp. We'll go around and see what we get. Here's pin one. We have a diode drop of 0.687. There's pin two, 0.672. Pin three, 0.669. There's pin five. 0.679 pin 6 0.913 pin 7 0.658 and pin 8 pin 8 is open now I put my red lead on the on pin 4 the VEE pin we had good diode drops all the way around Pin 6 was a little bit high at 0.913, but it's not shorted. And pin 8 was open. Uh, other than that, it looks like you can test an op amp for short circuits. Now, I've got a board right here. This old board out of a knitting machine. It has... OP07 op amp right there. Here's a TL082. Let's go ahead and see what we measure on this board. Okay, I'll go to pin 4. This is the OP07. That's the VEE pin, the negative supply pin. Here's pin 1. Look at that got my red lead on pin 4. Pin 1 measures 2.695 diode drop. Here's pin 2. There's 1.18. 1.118. Pin 3. 1.112. Pin 5 is open. No diode drop there. Pin 6. Diode drop of 0.715. Pin 7. Diode drop of 0.519. And there's pin 8. 2.691. Now that's going to the VEE pin. Here's a 5 volt regulator right here. The tab is ground. This is 7805. Let's go to ground and see what we measure. Pin 1 is 2.730. Pin 2, 1.984. Pin 3, 1.891 pin 4 1.452 come around to the other side pin 5 is open pin 6 1.225 let me go back check pin 5 again yep still open. Pin 7, 0.553. Pin 8, 2.726. Nobody shorted, but they sure did measure higher than that TL071. I normally don't check 
operational amplifiers like that. If I suspect an operational amplifier uh, to be bad, I'll unsolder it from the board, I'll breadboard it, and I'll test it on the breadboard. I'll show you how I do that. Let me get set up for that. And uh, we'll test this TL071 on the breadboard. Give me a little bit to set that up. I'll be back. I've got the diagram right here for the TL071, and it shows that uh, pin 1 is offset N1, pin 5 is offset N2, pin 2 is the inverting input, pin 3 is the non-inverting input, pin 4 they call VCC minus. Pin 6 is the output of the operational amp amplifier. Pin 7 they call VCC plus. And pin 8 is no connection. I'm going to set up our circuit based upon this diagram. Now what I like to do is I like to set one input at half. of VCC plus to ground. And I do that with two 10K ohm resistors to make a voltage divider. What that'll do is that'll raise that input above ground. Get my supply connections here. I'll have to measure that. that one for our ground. Set our power supply. I'm going to use a plus and minus 12. Plus voltage will be for the VCC plus. The minus voltage will be for the VCC minus. You might call that VEE and VDD. Usually I associate the minus power supply pin as VEE. There we go. Let's turn that off. Connect that to ground. There's our minus 12. This is our plus 12. Four is minus twelve. Pin seven is plus twelve. I've got the voltage divider on pin three. switch. Let's connect our meter to ground. Be this pin right here. Let's connect the output of the operational amplifier to the other lead. 
our meter. Okay, what I have is plus or minus 12 for the power supply, pins of the operational amplifier. Then I have a voltage divider right here going into pin 3. And the voltage divider divides the plus 12 to ground in half. So I got 6 volts on pin 3. The pull-up resistor is going to 12, and so now with the switch open, I've got 12 volts on pin 2. And pin 2 is higher than the 6 volts on pin 3, and our output is negative. We have negative 10.63 volts. When I put 0 volts on pin 2 by pushing this button, now, I have 0 volts on pin 2, and the 6 volts will be on pin 3. So pin 2 is now lower than pin 3, and the output swings from negative 10 to plus 11.42. Negative 10.63 plus 11.42. That's testing the operational ampl amplifier in open loop gain mode. There's no feedback from the output pin to the input pins. And when we test it in this mode, we get very, very close to the supply pins. Won't we'll never get it quite there, but we'll get close. That's the way I test an operational amplifier. They do go bad. I had a drive in here that had a current sense circuit that wasn't working. The drive was thinking that it was going into overcurrent. Even when the motor wasn't, wasn't run, the drive thought it was overcurrent. I found an op amp that from the current sense uh, the output of the current sense module was fed into the input of an operational amplifier. I had roughly 10 to 12 millivolts on the input of the operational amplifier. It had feedback set up for a gain of 10, and I had zero volts on the output. <laughs> if I put 10 to 12 milliamps into it with a gain of 10, I should have more than zero volts on the output. So I changed that op amp and the, and the drive uh, no longer gave the erroneous overcurrent alarm. They do go bad. I've never seen one short. Uh, but they do fail. That's very interesting, very interesting. Let me set it up so we have some feedback and we'll look at it in that, in that direction. Give me a little bit to set that up. I'll be back. All right, I got two meters here. This one here is gonna be looking at the input voltage of the op amp. And this one here is going to be looking at the output voltage of the op amp. Now I've got a 100k ohm resistor in the feedback from pin 6 output back to pin 2. I've got a 10k ohm uh, input resistor. I've got pin 3 grounded. I've got a potentiometer right here that I'm going to use to adjust the input voltage. 
turn this off. Now look at this. I've got negative 0.356 on the input. And I've got 3.56 on the output. A gain of 10. Let me adjust this voltage. We'll go the other way. I've got 0 0.490 volts on the input and I've got negative 4.89 on the output. Let me get close to 1 on the input. There we go. We've got 1 volt DC on the input. We've got negative 9.98 volts on the output. Almost 10 volts. <laughs> that is really neat. That is something else. That's how you can test the op amp. This is uh, called an inverting amplifier. But what that means is, is that if you have a positive on the input, it'll be inverted and amplified on the output. So here we have positive 0.996, and on the output we got minus 9.94. Let's go the other way. We got negative 1.037 on the input. We got 10.37 on the output. <laughs> that's a gain of 10. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Turn that so y'all can see that. Negative 1.036 on the input, 10.37 on the output. That's <laughs> so cool. So that's another way you can test an op amp. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.